There are some very weird accessories designed for smartphones that aren't always safe. Things are about to get weird. Let's get started. And thing. It's got a micro USB main port with an iPhone lightning port adapter. The fan has soft rubber propellers that are friction fit to the shaft of an electric motor. You might be thinking to yourself, wow, that's pretty cool. iPhones might actually be good for something. But here's the problem. iPhones are not designed to throw this kind of power out of the phone. Some Android phones can, but by powering third-party accessories with a lightning port, there's a high risk of frying the internal charging port circuit board. It could burn out and stop charging altogether, basically ruining your phone. Which actually sounds kind of fun to me, so let's try another weird accessory. This one is an electric razor that's powered by the lightning port. It can plug directly into your phone to steal some power. I use the word steal because that's exactly what it's doing. The iPhone is definitely not designed for this. It sounds like it's working, and nothing's exploded yet, but it's also doing pretty much nothing as far as shaving goes. In fact, it stopped working. Apparently, the top protective metal screen was too tight, and the iPhone also isn't strong enough to push the motor, even though it's not even currently cutting anything. Even while pulling power directly from the iPhone, it's pretty gutless. The protective metal screen can be unscrewed while the electric shaver is in operation. This is extremely unsafe. I like razor blades as much as anyone, but spinning razor blades are where I draw the line. Driving is always dangerous. Accidents happen. Your car could slip off the road and go into water, a river, or a lake, or there could be a flood. And the only problem with that, besides the fact that your car is not a boat, is that when your car is underwater, electronics and water don't mix well together. So your electronic windows and doors will stop working. This car charger breaks windows automatically, and I'll show you how it works. In addition to the dual 2.4 amp USB quick charge ports, this car charger has a built-in seatbelt cutter and a spring-loaded window breaker. The razor part is pretty self-explanatory. Seatbelts can get damaged during car accidents and stuck, pinning you inside of the vehicle, which may or may not be on fire. The window breaker is actually hidden pretty well inside of the car charger. Most people never realize what it is when it's plugged into your car. When the tip of the car charger is pressed against the glass, it will compress a little bit, loading an internal spring, and then firing this metal spike violently through the tip into the glass window with a very concentrated force. And since glass is very brittle, the whole thing will shatter. This is the internal spring and the metal spike inside of the car charger. It's pretty magical. And you don't have to be strong to use it, just press down and it does all the work itself. Alright, so we have the car door right here with the glass window on this side, and we have the car charger right here. We're going to come in and we're going to press this up against the glass on the inside of the window and see what happens. Ready? Three, two, one. That's crazy. And then at that point, you can just press it all the way out. Oh, that's insane. <laughs> so let's say that you're in your car and you're in an accident and the seat belt is jammed. You can't get out of your seat belt. So we have a little razor cutter on the tip of that that I showed you earlier. We're just gonna take it, put the seat belt in there. We'll see if it cuts well. Oh wow, that was actually easier than I thought. As long as there's tension on the seat belt, you can cut pretty easily. Thanks a ton for watching. I'll see you around.